Now we're going to talk about how to manipulate your 3D object in Sculptress. So not, I'm sorry, not Sculptress, in Blender so that for instance we can cut this tail off and be able to put it back on later. We're going to, we're going to print them separately so that this tail has the best chance of success for printing. In order to do that, what I need to do is click on the object. So in Blender, you can click on different objects. So the creature is one object, and then my platform is another object. So what I'm going to do now is um, click on my creature, and then down here at the bottom where it says Object Mode, I'm going to go into Edit Mode. Notice all the triangles. We've been talking about this in class, so this is something good to know. You can actually see all your triangles. Now, um, right now they're all selected, so I don't want them all selected. I'm actually going to click off of them like that, and then I'm going to rotate my view here a little bit so you can see where my tail is attached. Now, there's multiple ways to do this, um, but perhaps um, I think a one one kind of good way to do this is to select the points of the mesh and then um, we're going to cut it apart. So to do that what I want you to do is down at the bottom here it says vertex select. This is vertex mode. So every corner of a polygon or a triangle has a vertex. Um, and then in this one right here it says limit selection to visible. So what this does is if you want to be able to only select the, the, the things you can see, then you want this toggled. If you want to be able to select all the points regardless of whether you're, they're in your viewpoint or not, meaning they're on the other side of the object, like over here, then you want to have it selected. So I want to select all the points, even the ones that um, are not in my viewpoint from this angle. So I'm going to do that. And notice that I have now selected those objects. Okay, so once I have those vertices selected, what I'm going to do now is hit the P key, P as in park on my keyboard. It pops up with this little menu that says separate, and it says selection by material or by loose parts. And in this case, I created a selection, so I want to click it and make a selection and now the tail is a separate object from the actual body of the creature. So if I go back into object mode now and I go back into object mode you'll notice that if I select the tail if I shift and click on the platform then that will I don't want to have them both selected. So I select the tail and then I click on the arrow and move it and now you can see it's a separate piece that I can then rotate if I want to. I could lay it flat on the table and that will allow me to have that separate from my creature and this can print as a separate piece that I will then attach to my creature.